hello everyone and welcome back to queen varieties channel in today's video you will learn how to make a very tasty donut recipe without yeast in fact in less than 15 minutes you are done with this recipe don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload new videos feel free to share this video with your friends loved ones and family members All ingredients used for this donut recipe are fully listed in the description box below. Kindly check it out and please make sure you measure out all ingredients before you begin the process. Now we are going to combine all the dry ingredients together. As you can see, I have already sifted out my flour and to that I will add my nutmeg and my salt. After adding my nutmeg and salt, I will add my baking powder and also my sugar. All these ingredients, I am passing them through my sieve to eliminate the rough um, substances. Mix and combine all ingredients to combine effectively, making sure everything you know, touches all areas of the flour and everything is evenly distributed. Now, bring in a very large bowl and to that, I'm going to add 200 grams of softened butter into the bowl. After adding that, I'll begin creaming the butter, you know, to become a little bit um, softened, more softened in nature. And here I have about um, four eggs, which I have already broken in a plate. So I'll begin tossing in the egg inside this bowl, one after the other, making sure everything is evenly combined. So you have to do this until all the eggs are combined effectively. Once all the eggs have been mixed in very very well, I'm going to add a zest of a lemon. You can also substitute this by adding any flavor of your choice, maybe vanilla essence or orange zest as substitute. Remember you can also mix all these ingredients with your hands, not necessarily with a mixer. I'm using mixer because I don't have time on my side right now. I'm in a hurry guys. So please note that you can use your hand to mix these ingredients. So after tossing everything together guys, we are going to go ahead and begin to combine the dry ingredients inside this recipe and that you also add some milk alongside with the recipe so we are going to mix everything making sure that all ingredients combines very very well please make sure that when you're adding the milk inside this recipe you drop in the milk step by step until the desired paste is achieved For this recipe, we are going for a pasty kind of um, dough, not something that is strong. At the screen right now, I have zoomed it in so that you can see the texture or the consistency of the dough that you should be targeting. It shouldn't be a hard dough and it shouldn't also be a watery dough, but it should just stay in between, you know, the firmness. So once you have gotten your dough consistency, set it out and place oil on your heat to preheat until it is required. And when the oil is heated, go ahead and touch your hand in cold water and begin to scoop in the dough inside the hot oil as you can see right now. You can just put the dough inside your hand and then turn your hands upside down as the dough begins to fall inside the hot oil. You can use also your ice cream scooper to scoop this dough inside the hot oil. Kindly make sure that you fry all these donuts in a medium heated oil guys. Do not use low heated oil to fry this donut or it will soak too much oil. And also do not also use too high heat to fry it or your donuts will not cook them internally. Please make sure you regulate the oil temperature to be just at the medium range and fry between 5 to 8 good minutes, turning all the donuts around so that they will evenly fry on both sides. And guys, if you like your donuts in a lighter color, so it is time for you to set them out immediately from the oil. But for me, I'll fry a little, maybe one to two minutes extra to get that crispy on the outside kind of um, crunch from the donut. On your screen right now, you can see how beautifully brown these donuts are looking. So right now, I'm setting them out of the hot oil. Oh, yeah. 
So once you're done, clean your oil, guys, and make sure that your oil is neat before you begin to transfer the next set of um, donuts inside them. Um, the oil. This is the last set of donuts that i'll be frying guys and as you can see the donuts are super ready so what i'm doing right now is to set all the donuts outside the heat and if i open the donut for you to see the internal part of the donut you can see how delicious and how soft it is these donuts taste absolutely and incredibly delicious and it takes just within 15 good minutes to put all this recipe together. You can also give this recipe to your kids when they are going back to school. You know, they can also add it in their school bags as they go back to school. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends loved ones and family members please try this recipe and if you do try it let me know your feedbacks thank you